Jane, hello, how are you? I'm okay, thank you. I'm sorry for the terrible heat that's happening in your country. <sighs> it is very, very warm today, I have to say. Right. Very warm, but never mind. We'll crack on anyway. Uh, congratulations um, on the film. I really, really enjoyed Luck. It was, it was lovely and it was great fun. I think this is probably the first time I've ever spoken to the voice of a dragon. <laughs> well, and I believe this is also your first feature length animation. Is that right? Yes, it is. Yes. So why did you say yes to the idea and to the part of the dragon? Well, I've, I've wanted to do a, uh, an animated feature for a long time. And then this came along. And I mean, who wouldn't want to be? The voice of a dragon named Babe, who's the CEO of the Kingdom of Luck. I mean, how great is that? That's one thing. Another thing is, I know the company Skydance. They finance Grace and Frankie. I like them very much. So I felt safe in their hands. And um, it's a good gig for an old woman, you know? Doesn't, you don't care about how you look. You can have a bad hair day and a zit on your face. Doesn't matter because you're just the voice. <laughs> It, it, it's a good gig per se. I mean, what was yeah. voice acting like for you though? Because normally you're by yourself in the booth. Was, was that what you were doing? And in that case, did you actually miss having people around you? Uh, no, no, it's just, it is a special challenge. You know, the director was on Zoom. It was at the height of COVID. The sound engineer was behind a lot of glass walls and you know, a lot of discussion went in first about who she was, you know, what kind of a character is she? Uh, you know, I, I had a certain amount of input into the character. I was the one that said I want her to be named Babe um, and and to, you know, to have an attitude about herself. And um, so you kind of get a sense of the character and a, the story and what's happening. And then, yes, you are all by yourself. And the challenge for me is that I get carried away, you know, and I'm always hitting the mic with my hand or forgetting to talk into the mic. Those are the things that used to happen all the time. But um, I can I get pretty worked up. I, I enjoy it a lot. I really do. I have a good time doing it. I've done two more since then then you obviously like it. Now, you obviously had some input, as you say, into the character of, of yeah. Babe the Dragon. How much do you think there is of you in her? I mean, I noticed that she's this gorgeous shade of pink and indeed pink, you look great in. So I'm assuming that was down to you. Well, I'm strong and she's strong. I'm romantic. She's romantic. Um, she um, she's a CEO, but she's really good to her workers. She loves her workers. She treats them with respect. She makes sure that they exercise in the morning so they'll be bright eyed and bushy tailed. That kind of like is what I would do if I was a CEO. So those those things we have in common. And she talks at one point about other creatures and people being intimidated by tall women. Is that something that you've actually experienced yourself? Do you, do you think she's right? Well, I'm shrinking daily, so I, I, I'm not, I don't have the problem. <laughs> you know, you do, <laughs> the incredible shrinking women, we tend to shrink when we get older, you know, the cartilage between our vertebrae disappears. But I'll tell you someone who did believe that, Catherine Hepburn, Catherine Hepburn. Ah, first, yes. Here's a little quick story, I'll try to be quick. The very first scene in coming in, in, in on Golden Pond, I arrive at the house and I've come from New York and I have high heels on. And I remember we rehearsed and Catherine took one look at my heels and disappeared and came back with 1920 platform shoes on. She'd be damned if I was gonna be taller than she was. <laughs> you wouldn't expect anything she, less of her. <laughs> When, 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 when she first met uh, Professor Tracy, she said, well, you're short, aren't you? And he said, I'll cut you down to size. <laughs> <laughs> she believed height is important. I know some mighty mouses. I know some short women that are really mighty. And so I don't really, I don't think. I've, I've never had the benefit of height, unfortunately. Are you small too? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, I think I work out at about um, 
one meter fifty seven. I don't know. So what that's that is. five foot two in English. So oh, yeah, yes, I'm I'm, sure. I'm not tall. I'm not tall. Your your career though is is legendary, um, and no doubt at all that that's down to your incredible talent. But I wondered how much you'd also attribute it to good luck. And I wondered what perhaps was the best bit of good luck you'd had in your career. Well, you see, the luck, you see this, I have I already said this to you, luck is preparation, meeting opportunity. No, you, you have to prepare. To <laughs> you have to be prepared to seize the occasion, to seize the opportunity, to seize yeah. the luck. Some people don't even know that it's right in front of them. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And here's how I prepared to be lucky in my career. I stayed healthy and fit. I always worked out. I ate properly. I stayed healthy. And because I left the business for 15 years, mm. I made a comeback at 65. That doesn't happen. <laughs> And I, this year, I'm almost 85, I made three movies, you know what I mean? And it's because I've remained youthful. I'm old, but I remain youthful. I have good posture, I have a good attitude, I've stayed curious. All of these things tend to make luck come your way. So really, it's, it's more a question of creating your own luck. You make your own luck. You, you create say. the context <laughs> in which luck can arrive. <laughs> now, you, ju you just mentioned that um, you've made several movies this year. One of them, of course, is Book Club 2, the next chapter. Yes. And you've been filming in Italy, I think. Have you got any more filming left to do for that? No, 104 degrees. I always thought I didn't mind heat, but I'm telling you, working in 104 degrees is not a pleasant thing. No. It was really, really it's hard. But we had such a good time. Oh, my God. It was so much fun. I think it's going to be very funny. And right before then, I did a movie called 80 for Brady with Rita Moreno, Sally Field, Lily Tomlin and me and Tom Brady. <laughs> oh, wow, what a lineup. And it's hysterical. What a lineup. I mean, with, with Book Club 2, you're reunited with the same cast from the That's first right. film four years That's ago. Right. So what was it like getting, getting them all back together again? It must have been one heck of a party. Uh, we had a really good time. We like each other very much. We like spending time together. It was good. Jane, it's been lovely to talk to you. I really appreciate your time. And uh, you. like it's I say, nice really time. enjoyed the film as well. So thank you very much indeed. And thank you, stay safe. Thank you. Uh, I'll stay cool as well. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey! hey.